Hello, my friends. Welcome to the What's Up and Makeup chat. I'm so excited to see you all, see you in the collective brain of makeup awesomeness that is going to be taking place right over there. I have old makeup on my face. I apologize for that. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Do you ever like go to start watching a tutorial and then they have old makeup on their face and it's like, get that off before you start. Oh, my child is throwing a tantrum. Oh, my, I'm glad my husband's taking care of it. She's she's stressed out because she has a birthday party in 30 minutes and he's asking her to do something and that's off topic. We're here to talk about some makeup. But if you hear my child yelling, my husband's taking care of it. She's not alone, I promise. Let me center you a little bit better. All right, so I'm really excited to talk to you today about Holy Grail formulas and products. Now, I, I thought about these as I was picking these products and I was like, you know what? I want to pick products and tools and things that I feel like everybody could own and enjoy. And I didn't pick them lightly. Like, I really thought about it. And I thought about, you know, all the conversations I've had with people in the collective brain, all the things that we've discussed, and the products that seem the most popular with everybody. I didn't take an official poll. But there are certain products that keep coming up over and over and over again as ones that everybody seems to love. So I've got a selection of them sitting next to me because supposedly when I turn around, it freaks people out sometimes. So I've got a little table now and we're going to talk about some of those products. But before we start, I know that some of you, um, you know, want to get right into the makeup, but I do want to say hello to the collective brain. It's really important to me to say hello to everyone and to connect with them before we begin. So if you do not like this part, um, you can go ahead and skip ahead until you see me show a product. And then that's when you know that we are starting with the review. So I'm going to go ahead and say hello to some of the first people that were here. So Orla, hello. Good morning. Good morning to Leanne. Good morning, Tabitha and Nikki and KJ and Stephanie and Fizzy Pop. She says she doesn't really have any holy girl. She's curious to see what everyone recommends. Good morning to Kelsey. She can't believe she's early. Good morning, Krista. And... Let's see. Good morning, Lizzie. Good to have you here. I'm excited that you're here for the first time as well. Uh, good morning to Sammy. Good to have you back. And uh, KJ says, what's the topic today? I didn't get through the, the whole what's up and makeup news. I know because the news is long this week. There's lots of good stuff coming out. Good morning to Stephanie Beatsinger, who has a YouTube channel, B-E-I-T-S-I-N-G-E-R, and her first name is Stephanie. Good morning to Mogi Bear, and good morning to BB's Beauty Bar. So excited to have you here, and good morning to Gina, and Jen, and Jan. I'm, she says, we made it, with lots of emojis. Yay, hello, hello. And Kelsey, she says, what's What's everyone's temps like this morning? 28 degrees here and snowy. We haven't had a flake of snow this year, not a flake in Maryland. I don't know what's going on. Um, it's been warm, and I don't think it's warm today. I haven't been outside yet. I pretty much just got up. So <laughs> I brushed my hair, I brushed my teeth, and I got these products together for you, and I cleaned up my room a little bit. But other than that, I haven't done much. Uh, good morning to summer. And, and we're going to go ahead. Oh, and Stephanie. Hey. Good morning, Stephanie. A. I'm going to, oh, and Sammy, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. And, and if I didn't say hello to you, good morning and hello to you. I'm so happy that you're here. Let's go ahead and start talking about some Holy Grail products. Now, oh, um, Krista says that it was pouring there. It was pouring here last night. I was like, to John, I was like, is that rain outside? He's like, that sounds like a plane going by or something because we have an airport not that far from us. And I was like, I think that's rain. And we looked outside and it was pouring pouring like straight pouring all right so let's go ahead and start with oh you know what i didn't get out was primers you know i got everything else out but i forgot to get out primers so let me get that real quick i still got my jamma bottoms on i just changed my shirt so you guys caught me in my pajamas um primer well i got eye primer out so let's just talk about eye primer because i don't want to spend forever looking for primers my, my holy grail eye primer right now one that i think that everybody would love is eden by urban decay i really think that this is a phenomenal eyeshadow primer and the reason why i think this is a standout over all other eyeshadow primers oh thank you and <laughs> they love my pjs um so the reason why i think this is a standout overall all other eyeshadow primers is because of the opacity of it the 
it's got that same Urban Decay Primer Potion awesomeness, but then it's opaque when you put it on your eye. So it doesn't matter what color your skin tone is. So if you're a deeper skin tone, don't worry about this. Because what it does is it gives you that lighter sheet of paper, almost like putting down a white base. Like you'll see a lot of tutorials where they'll put the NYX Pencil and Milk. This is similar to that, but I feel like the formula is better as far as keeping your eyeshadow on longer than the NYX Pencil and Milk. Um, you can always put milk on top of this, but I really, really like this a lot. It's a relatively new purchase for me, um, and I just think that it's fantastic. It's just a really nice place to start, you know? It just gives you a, a great white sheet of paper to start your drawing on, you know what I mean? It's really, really, really nice, and I haven't find, found a drugstore eye primer that I think would work for everybody because, you know, oily lids, dry lids, all of that, I really feel like this would work for everybody. So if it doesn't work for you, please type it in the comments below. If it does, we'll just say in general. If any of these products work for you, type them in the comments below. If they don't work for you, type it in the comments below, but then tell us why you don't think they work for you. Is it because of your skin type, your skin tone? What is it about that product so that we can all learn from you and the collective brain of Makeup Awesomeness so we can all just learn more from each other and really be a great community. Okay, so the next thing, oh, something falling in my closet? Oh, I don't even know. Okay, um, can you get Eden at Ulta? You should be able to. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to, but you should be. Lisa says Eden's her holy grail too. Um, she, you just have to use the tiniest amount. You really do just have to use the tiniest amount. Um, and then Chelsea says she'd love to try the original primer potion. See, the original primer potion from Urban Decay, I feel like is dupable. I feel like there, you know, there's a, I mean, you get the formula, but there isn't anything that makes it so, so, so much better than, let's say, the Milani one or, you know, the one from Coastal Scents, which is really, really good. Um, you know, nothing really makes it be unique. Where Eden, I feel like, is a standout, like you can't find it anywhere else. You know what I mean? Um, speaking of that, I did want to mention, also give a shout out to Painterly from MAC. Um, also, Soft Ochre, I've heard, is wonderful. It just depends on what shade you like. These MAC paint pots are also really, really good to have that blank sheet of paper. So whatever shade you like to start with, these MAC paint pots are really, really good. I've had this forever, and you can see that it's starting to crack around the outside, but it's not dried out. It's still, it feels like clay. It's got kind of a very clay-like consistency, and that's what that looks like. Um, and I really like these a lot too. I think they're wonderful. Okay, got a box down here. I'm just going to drop stuff into the box as I go so that I know what I've talked about and what I haven't. So, all right, let me get some more coffee in my WhatsApp and makeup coffee mug. <laughs> if you've got your WhatsApp and makeup coffee mug or any coffee mug, we can cheers right now to our coffee. Yep, Eden is available at Sephora and Ulta. Um, Krista wants to know does, do, uh, to, if she needs that she, she's that, that, that can I speak she wants to know if it helps your makeup stay on longer and yes I do believe that it does absolutely I do believe that it does um, it's a little thicker than Eaton um, it's got a little more of a concealer kind of feel like a cream concealer kind of feel where Eden is more of like a primer kind of feel if that makes sense okay um, primer is my <laughs> painterly is my jam Ashley says yes all right let's go ahead and go into concealer now that we kind of touched on concealer a little bit here's a couple of them that I feel like seem to work for everybody this is the instant age rewind uh, dark circle er eraser seems to work for everybody my biggest critique about this is the sponge is kind of you got to throw this away eventually if you don't use it you got to throw it away because it's just it's not hygienic you can't clean it at all I mean it's just you know, but it works really, really, really well, and everybody seems to love this thing. Another thing that I wanted to mention is the Time Bomb by The Balm. This was my, has been my Holy Grail concealer forever, and I really, really love this a lot. Um, this one seems to work for everyone as well. It is more of an oily kind of consistency, so if you have oily under eyes, I'm not sure if this would work as well as somebody with drier under eyes or normal under eyes, but this does not crease. It's just a fantastic concealer. I can't believe I forgot to get out by Bare Minerals Powder Concealer. I'm not going to waste time going to flip around and try to find it. Um, but the um, the um, Bare Minerals Loose Powder Concealer for powder concealer is the best concealer I've ever used if in life. Um, I really, really enjoy it a lot. It is so wonderful. And I've heard rave reviews from so many people. And I it was my concealer of the year. Um, Kelsey saying the LA Girl Concealer is, she's like, oh, 
I've heard great things about that too, but I have not tried that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and look at the collective brain right now and see what everyone else is saying. Is there a Holy Grail concealer? Because I know this is a big one for a lot of people trying to find one. Um, Savvy says, I adore the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and the NARS Creamy Concealer. Um, Chelsea says, the Fit Me for her. Yesenia says, LA Girl, hands down. Blinky's Blurb says, Elf HD Concealer is her favorite. Um, Living Like Julie Fit Me Concealer is awesome. Hello, Alexandria. And then... Tarte Creaseless Concealer from Steph. Uh, Ashley says the NYX one is great. I have to kind of scroll down a little bit. Leanne says the Fit Me. Um, and Taylor says, I don't know why the Age Rewind turns splotchy on me. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Um, Lisa says, oh, I lost it. I think she said It Cosmetics, I believe. Uh, Krista says the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur. And Kay says she loves the Benefit Erase Paste. And the Erase Paste, I think I've said this before. I used to have a friend that um, had really bad bad acne scarring and she swore by the erase paste it erased her acne scarring like it erased it like you could still see the texture of course but any discoloration was gone with the benefit erase paste for like really like when you really want to cover something benefit erase paste uh carrie says the oh hi carrie the mac pro Longwear is her favorite carrie's an old friend of mine from way back at the beginning of my channel was a, she was one of the first people i ever did a collab with and she had way more subscribers than me at the time <laughs> All right. So anyway, concealers, concealers, concealers. If I did not say your favorite concealer and you have a Holy Grail concealer, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Tell us why you love it. Talk about your skincare, um, your skin type, so people know what is good. Um, we are 12 minutes in, so we got to keep on rocking. Uh, let's talk about foundation. I do have a couple foundations. Now, foundation is one of those things that is very, very hard to find one that's universal that seems to work for everybody. So this is the best I've got with my normal skin. This is the best I've got. Um, so, uh, I have the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid to Powder Foundation. Um, this, when I got this, I was so, so impressed with it. I was like, yes, this is my foundation for life. Um, it is a pump, which is good. And then it comes out like this. It is kind of thick, which I do like. I like a thicker consistency for foundation. And why I love this is it's really got that, you see how it's liquid, but then when you blend it in, it really turns into like a powder. I put on way too much. I put on like an entire face worth of <laughs> worth of foundation here. And um, it looks better on my face than it does on my hand because, you know, hands and faces sometimes are different tones. But see how it's completely matte now? Like it's so cream to powder and it just dries so flat. Like I don't even need a face powder with this. It just dries down so nicely. It feels wonderful on the skin. Just so, so, so enjoyable to use. Um, I am going to get a makeup wipe so that I can not be covered in foundations. Um, the other one that I wanted to mention that's my favorite drugstore formula of face foundation-y kinds of things is the Garnier BB Cream. Now, there was a rumor a while back that this was being discontinued, but I saw a huge stock of it at my uh, drugstore the other day. So I don't think it's being discontinued. I've also seen this at Ulta. Um, I don't think it's going anywhere. This is a wonderful, wonderful product. Um, this one is the combination to oily. I do believe that they have a dry skin version as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, but I do think there's a dry skin version as well. And it is wonderful. The staying power is fantastic. It, you can build this up to like a medium-ish coverage. And one thing, like I was watching Jordan Liberty the other day. And if you're not subscribed to Jordan Liberty, he's a pro. He's like Wayne Goss. You know what I mean? Like he's so not a beauty guru. He's a pro. And he knows so much, like amazing. And he has funny videos too. It's not just like, you need to subscribe to, um, not subscribe, but follow Jordan Liberty on Instagram. He puts up some of the best Instagram posts. They are hilarious with all with his models. They like lip sync and dance and it's great. And he's a super nice guy. I met him at, um, was it IMATS last year? I think it was IMATS last year. Sometime I met him and oh my gosh, just the nicest guy. Yes, I met last year. So sweet. But anyway, he was saying about how we really have gone so far that Instagram route of that full face of makeup. Like the, the daily makeup is like the way people would dress up. You know, people would wear this full face of makeup only if they were going to a special event. And now it's people's every day, this really full face look, you know. And it doesn't have to be like that because our natural skin is so can be so beautiful, you know. And you can just use a little bit to kind of touch up your spots that don't that aren't so even and really make a natural look for most people. 
So this one here is like that, where it's the, it's the BB cream, it's, it's definitely a lighter coverage, but it gives you, it lets your natural skin shine through, but evens out your skin tone. So if you have the luxury, like I do, of not having to do a lot of concealing, you don't, don't have to do that. Don't, don't let Instagram and YouTube convince you that you need to put on a very thick face of makeup. It's not 100% necessary. Um, you know, we're, we're really going on a very strange trend right now. But anyway... Rant over, stepping off the soapbox. Let's talk more about products. This is really, really good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go over to the Collective Brain and see what they think about their favorite foundations. Um, somebody says, thanks, Beauty Hall 411. She's an amazing Instagram channel to follow. She's one of my reporters. She's awesome. Um, let's see. Sarah says, I'm still on the hunt for a holy grail foundation. The, foundation. the closest yet is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. The only problem is that it seems to not exactly set. I have dry skin and huge Wars. Um, Stephanie says, Wayne Goss talks about scaling down the makeup a lot. I'm reading through the Kevin Aquan book and he says the same thing. It seems to be that makeup artists help us stay in check. I hope so. I hope so. Um, so if, uh, let's see. Let me see if there's anything. Okay. Uh, Redhearted808 uh, says, Revlon Naked is, the, um, is amazing. That's what she's been loving lately. And Sarah says, of BB creams, I can vote for the Dr. Jart, the normal one in the silver packaging. I love you too, Lisa. And then BB's Beauty Bar says, Merle Norman Foundation is her yes. And Yesenia says, anyone with a color, okay, anyone with color, the best BB cream is Kiss New York Aqua BB Cream. Yes, Kiss New York Aqua BB Cream for Women of Color. Thank you, Yesenia, for that. Um, and then Stacy says she bought the Dior Hydra Life BB Cream, and it's great. And then Kanisha says Estee Lauder Double Wear, definitely, and MAC Waterproof. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on because we got to. Um, face powder, you know, the only holy grail face powder where I'm like, yes, I must have this in my life is the Rimmel Stay Matte. <laughs> It's the only one that I'm like, if I ran out of this, I would be like, no, and I'm running out of it, and I'm feeling that, no, right now. I really love this stuff. Like, I really feel like I need this in my life. The only, the next closest thing, and I know it's right here, so I'm going to turn around and grab it. The next closest thing to a no, I would feel as if I ran out of my um, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Medium, but I would probably buy this first just because of the price point. I don't see a huge difference between these. I mean, I feel like this is maybe a little more finely milled, but this is a fantastic face powder. It's like three bucks, like three bucks. Go Rimmel, go Rimmel. Like really and truly like some things you just don't need to spend a fortune on. You just don't. Amazing. Amazing. Um, cover effect setting powder is what um, Chuk Chuchala, Chuchala says, I don't know, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, and Marlene, everybody's saying Rimmel, stay mats, yes, Nicole's here from Yay or Nay, Nicole, nailed your package yesterday, just so you know, all right, we have to keep going, because it's 10:19, and I have so much to show you, so much to show you, um, actually, like, let's see, hold on, Krista says the NYC translucent powder, and then Kay says, I love those dumb hourglass powders, they're so expensive, I know, but they're amazing. Um, and then Marlene says she wants to try the airspun, um, but she doesn't want the mess. And then, um, oh, thank you for appreciating uh, that. I, I'm sorry for butchering your name. The one that looks kind of like chocolate, Chukula, I think it is, Chukula. Um, Leslie says she also loves Benefits, Hello Flawless. And Abby says L'Oreal Press True Match is amazing. Uh, Jenna says Laura Mercier. Adidas says Bourgeoisie, Bourgeois. Bourgeois, healthy mixed powder. She loves it, and she has normal to dry skin. Ashley says she often uses the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish as a powder, and then I saw a pores no more. I'm not sure who that was. It disappeared too quick. Um, Stephanie says, yes, hourglass for life. And Helen says, I don't use too much powder, but it's Elizabeth Arden is her favorite. And happy birthday to whoever's birthday it is. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Nikki. It says, is my PC working? Is that, can anybody see me? You know what's happening, Nikki, is I see your little... Um, your little wrench and I keep skipping you accidentally because usually you know when people put the little at I keep thinking it's an at and then skip you so I apologize Nikki I, I'm skipping Steph and I'm skipping tab too so it's not I didn't mean to I will try to make sure <laughs> that I don't skip you by accident that little wrench that tells me that she's a moderator is confusing me so sorry about that in my brain, it was an at, and I was skipping it. 
All right, let's keep moving on, moving on, moving on. All right, let's go into blush. Now, I wasn't going to mention this one because they were out of stock, but now you can get them on KatVonDBeauty.com. Bam! Essex by Kat Von D. I talked about this in the show today. Um, this is my favorite blush formula of all time. There are a few of them available at uh, Kat Von D Beauty in the old school section. It's an amazing formula. I got quite a few people hooked on this before they discontinued it. I don't know why nobody talked about these. They're amazing. Just so, so, just, they're buildable. And that's what I love about them. They're creamy. They're pigmented, but they're buildable. When you put it on your face initially, it is not clown face. And then it builds up. There's some things you just want it to go bam. Blush is not one of those things that you just want to go bam on your face because then you just gotta you gotta blend it out and you gotta, you know, it's more work. You know what I mean? It's just so much more work if a blush isn't one that slowly builds. So you really want to get something that isn't so in your face but then also isn't not pigmented so this one is wonderful also any blush by the ball if you can get on Holt look and get a blush by the ball these are wonderful this one is called argyle and it's one of the end stain blushes this is my favorite formula of blush by the balm and it's just wonderful this one will take you to clown face if you um apply too much so you just want to get a really fluffy brush when you use this so that you can get a light application at first but just the lasting power and the beautiness of this is unbelievable unbelievable another wonderful formula that's very famous is the tart formula of course um i heard a little birdie told me that they reformulated the wet and wild blushes which are known for being amazing and now they are not good and my heart broke like somebody in the collective brain told me that and she was like they're terrible the new formula of the color icon blushes is bad and i was like oh. <laughs> and i cried big salty tears and i couldn't believe it i was like no wet and wild why why did you do that? Um, I've heard wonderful things about the Milani blushes. I have not personally tried them. It's one of those that I just, I see it in the store and it's like, do I need another blush? No, I really need to get some just for comparison though. And I don't, I, I you know, I just haven't gotten any. Um, but that's one that the collective brain always talks about is amazing is the Milani uh, blushes. Um, Mary's saying she loves Milani's Luminoso. Um, and that's, I've heard so much about that one as well. Uh, let's go ahead and start talking about, am I going too fast? Maybe I'm going too fast. I have so many things I want to show you though. So, so, so many things. The Milani Rose blushes everybody's talking about and everybody, and a makeup color says Luminoso by Milani. Some elf ones are great. Um, KJ says, and then, oh, they're going really fast. Color pop blushes and Chanel blushes by Julie. Julie says that. Um, Spring says Milani equals so good, and Pam says Luminoso forever. Like this is this is these are real people here. These are real people. Um, makeup color says Nars Orgasm. Of course, that one's very very famous. Um, I've heard so many people that love that blush. I don't see it as being a standout blush that like makes me go, oh my gosh, I have to have this. And I think it's the Nars formula. It's not the color. I think it's the formula that I think is just good. It's a good formula, but I feel like there are better formulas out there than the NARS blush formula. Oh my gosh, did I just say that? Oh, that's just my personal, but I know a lot of people really, really love them, so don't take me as the ultimate I know all. Like a lot of people love NARS blushes. They're just not my personal favorites, um, but they are buildable. Like we were saying what we really want in a blush is something that's buildable, but I can't, I don't know. Like it just doesn't do it for me for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. I want to love them more, but there are a lot of people that disagree with me. So please, please, please don't take my word as the ultimate. Um, and then Krista says, I don't love NARS blushes. When I swatch them, nothing shows up. <laughs> oh, we're getting into that, Chukala. We're getting into that. All right. Since you brought it up, has to be said, has to be said. I've showed this before. I have a drawer, a stupid drawer of contouring stuff. I just got this one. I got two of these. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got, what else do I have in here? I got this one. I got so many contouring products. Why? Why? I got this. This is Kevin Aquan, by the way. And I will tell you that if I had to choose one contour palette to use the rest of my life, it would be this one. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. 
Um, it actually kind of ties with my Kevin Aquan one. I would have to choose between these two. And I would probably, honestly, if I'm truly being honest, I would probably pick Kevin Aquan just because it makes me feel fancy. And that's the only reason. That's the only reason. It's not because it's better. It's because it makes me feel fancy. Um, this one isn't available anymore, though, so that was another reason why I wasn't really showing that one. But quality-wise, quality-wise, Elf nailed it on this palette. Nailed it. If you, I hear some people saying, I can't contour, I can't contour, I saw that. It might be the product you're using. It might not be you. It might be the product you're using. I would seriously, seriously recommend getting this one and trying it. It is so wonderful. It is the perfect, perfect contour shade right there. So perfect. Yesenia, do you have this one? Because I need a woman of color to tell me. If, if I, I hope you have this one right there. Because I wonder whether this would work for a woman of color. Kay, do you have this one? Because I really need to know. Um, any women of color in here own this? Um, Danae, you, you don't own this. She says she's not a contour, contour person. Um, but I'm telling you, the formula of this is so amazing. I'm going to swatch the Kevin Aquan next to it. This is the Kevin Aquan Contour Powder. This is $40 on its own. I'm going to swatch it next to it. Can you tell which one's which? I mean, I just swatched them so you know which one's which. But right here, that's the e.l.f. and that's the Kevin Aquan. Are you kidding me? This is $40 on its own. This is $6 for the entire palette. All right, Yesenia, it works for me, but I don't know if darker. Okay, so Yesenia is like a medium, like a, like a tan skin tone. She's, um, you know, she's got like a like a golden tan gorgeousness going on on her skin tone. Um, so, yes, I mean, you can kind of see what it looks like on my skin tone. Of course, someone that's really deep, at, you know, contouring powders are going to be really difficult. Um, but, mm, 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 <laughs> it just gives me chills. They're multiplying. I haven't done that joke in a long time, so I give myself pass. But, girlfriend, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, hi, everyone from Melbourne, Australia. Oh, it's like the middle of the night there. Ella B, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I love the Australia's the Australis AC on tour cream contour palette. Thank you so much for that for our Australian friends. Um, Linda says, I love the elf. It works for me. Oh, feel free since I'm not scrolling up. If you're in the collective brain right now and I don't see your comment, feel free to type it again um, because I'm not scrolling back up. Sometimes I scroll back up, but I'm not doing that today. So, oh, Hula. Orla says Hula. Hula is a great bronzer. Hula is a fantastic bronzer. I would not contour with Hula. It is very warm, unless you have a very warm skin tone and you feel like you can get away with it. But from everything that I'm learning about contouring, you really want to contour with a neutral to cool tone, no matter what your skin tone is. So, um, Beauty Hall 411, Beth says, I love a Kat, Kat Von D shade and light contour palette. I like my shade and light contour palette. I don't love it, but I do like it very much. Taylor says, OMG, every time I check the e.l.f. contour palette, it's been out of stock, but it's back. Yay! Uh, Krista wants to know if I've tried uh, the elf cream contour, the cream contour. No, I have not. Pam loves Hula. Yesenia says city color. City color is great, but it's one of those that gives me clown face like that, like really fast. But the pigmentation is amazing. And for the price, you can definitely work with some city color and make some gorgeous looks. The cheek products are fantastic. But City Color, I've tried some of the other products and I don't enjoy them, but I vouch for their face products, any of their, their blushes, their bronzers, things like that. If you don't know about City Color, um, you can get it at Five Below. If you happen to have a Five Below, that's more of like an East Coast to Central United States thing um, or the City Color website really, really works well for me, but it does take you to clown face very, very, very quickly. Um, Pam says she heard the e.l.f. highlight palette sucks. Oh, I don't know. I didn't get that when I was out of stock when I bought my big, huge thing. Um, Adidas says, I love the sleek palette with the contour shade, highlight, and blush. Such a good product. And then Summer says, Too Faced Park Avenue Princess. Park Avenue Princess, for whatever reason, doesn't work great on me. Like, it's really warm and weird on my skin tone. I don't know. It's just weird on me. I don't know, but I know a lot of people absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and it's very famous for a reason, but for some reason, it just doesn't work for me. I don't know why. Ashley says, thoughts on the Smashbox Contour Kit? It's an exact dupe for the e.l.f. one. <laughs> exact, exact dupe. In the e.l.f. video that I did, I won't swatch them all for you. And I'll show you. In the e.l.f. video that I did, I showed when I bought this, 
the swatches of these. I'll just hold them next to each other for today for the sake of time. They're exact dupes, except for with the e.l.f. one, you get an extra shade, which is um, this one down here, this lightest shade. Um, they're exact dupes. Exact dupes in formula, exact dupes in uh, lasting power, exact dupes in everything. Um, you're chatting right now, Jennifer. You're doing it. You've got it, girlfriend. You've totally got it. Um, Zoe says her Wi-Fi is being stupid. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Hopefully it's not everybody. Hopefully it's not everybody. Uh, Makeup Color says palette contour from Makeup Revolution is great. Wonderful. And then I'm glad you're on the iPad now, tired mom. And then Pam says, I want the lunatic palette. So bad. Um, Stephanie says, man, y'all are talking me into the elf palette full, real, real fast. <laughs> It's really good. It's really, really good. All right, let's move on. And I want to get into highlighters. And then we're going to go into eyeshadows. Holy Grail Highlighter, Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Um, definite Holy Grail status here. Uh, it's always been my Holy Grail. I don't see that ever changing. It is, it's famous for a reason. It's the most gorgeous highlight. And everybody loves Mary Lou. Everybody loves Mary Lou. But... ColourPop's Lunch Money, in case you haven't ever seen this, is an exact dupe. It's just a different formula. So you have to be willing to deal with that creamy formula that ColourPop has. But it's an exact, pretty much an exact dupe. I think that Mary Lou is tad, 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 tad bit peachier. But on your cheek, not going to be able to tell the difference. Not going to be able to tell the difference. You, don't, you can't tell the difference. I've put them both on. You can't tell the difference. They're both awesome. They're both awesome. Um, another one here. The over brush stripes. This is another one that is holy grail status for me. Uh, this is the illuminating blush stripes. And I love this one because it's, it looks like they purposely, I don't know, I didn't tell, I didn't ask them, but it looks like they purposely designed this for many skin tones, which makes me so, so stinking happy. It just, oh, it's got a peachy shade. It's got a cool tone. It's got a warm tone. And it's got a shade that looks good for deep skin tones. These last two over here. Um, this one is very shimmery. This one's more subtle, um, or you can just swirl them all together if you want to. I like to use them in the stripes, but they're very, very, very good. Um, Indy Kitty One says, hi, Jen. Um, the color pop equals Becca Opal. Yes, um, there's one. Let me show you that one because we do have that one. I do have Becca's Opal. Becca's Opal is fantastic. Okay, this is Champagne Pop. Hold on, let me find Opal. This is my opal. This is my opal. This is Becca's opal. Okay. People ask me why I have so much makeup. This is why. So that I can tell you guys about it. There's Becca's opal. And then this. Hold on. Where's the color pop dupe? Hold on. There's a color pop dupe. I got to find it. Wisp. Watch me wisp. Yes. Here's the ColourPop dupe for Becca's Opal. There's wisp. So there's Becca's Opal and there's wisp. Um, again, it's that creamy formula though. So if you don't like that creamy formula and you want a powder formula, you're going to have to stick with the, the Becca. But lasting power is great. Lasting power is great. Definite recommend. Definite recommend. All right. Um, Summer says Laura Laura Mercier's matte radiance is awesome. Um, Nikki says I love the Laura Mercier in 01. It's a must have for all. And then let's see. Uh, Jonathan said is is she making a sales pitch? No, I'm not selling any of these products. Just so you know. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. Um, Lily says Laura Geller. Laura Geller with Gilded Honey which is right here. Let me show you that one right here. There you go. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if any of these products were sent to me. I don't focus on whether they were sent to me, um, but I didn't, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I'm not being paid by any of these companies. Um, let me show you this. I don't think any of them were sent to me. Let me look. I'll take a look through and make sure none of them were sent to me, and I'll let you know if any of them were sent to me. Um, there's Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. It's absolutely gorgeous because I think that's important for you guys to know if any of these were sent to me. But I don't think. Nope. Nope. I bought all these. Everything in here I bought. Oh, except for there's one thing I did not buy. I did not buy the Ofra Blush Stripes. This was given in the Generation Beauty swag bag. Um, so they didn't give this personally to me. It was in the swag bag for everybody. 
but yeah, everything else I bought. Even the stuff coming up, everything I bought. Oh, a couple more Generation Beauty swag bag things. But everything else I bought. All right. Anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Okay, um, Steph says Opal's way too dark for her. And then um, Sarah says she wants to try Ballerina. And then Summer says the Ofer highlighters are intense. If you're looking for intense, try those. I bought the both the Dupe That collabs. And I do have those. My Ofer brand review is coming up this week. I filmed it. I'm just editing her in there. These were sent to me by Ofra for review. Um, so that is coming up this week. Um, and I have all of that. Um, Kay says she got the Ofra one in a boxy trim too. A lot of people got it, but I did not get that. Um, the makeup color says good morning to Terry Lee. Good morning, Terry Lee. She's one of my um, she's one of my reporters. Um, <laughs> Jonathan says, you remind me of a school teacher. That's because I am. <laughs> I'm actually a teacher. That's what I do full time. So all right. Moving on because it is 1037. Jonathan, but Jonathan's being nice, so he can stay. All right, moving on. The, the mods will get him if he says anything inappropriate. He's fine. Just because he's a boy doesn't mean he can't be here. All right, so next up, we want to talk eyeshadow. And these are the two palettes that I personally picked out as three palettes that I personally picked out as ones that I feel like everyone would love. Um, well, maybe not everybody, because it's going to be one or the other. Let me get the other one hiding it. I'm trying to hide it from you. I don't think I hit it very well. I would say these two right here, the Naked, the Urban Decay Original Naked or the Naked 2. I would say pick whichever one calls to you. But these are ones where I feel like one of these two is going to be awesome for you, no matter what, no matter what. I think one of these is going to be amazing. And I don't think anybody would disagree with me on that. I really don't. I mean, the formula is amazing. The amount of looks you can create with these palettes is amazing. And it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, my only complaint about my Naked 2 is I lost my booty call. My booty call fell out. Oh, and I just dropped my palette. Oh, okay. Oh, I just dropped my other palette. All right. So my booty call fell out. Um, other than that, I'm very happy with this palette. Um, so, yes, just the, the amount of looks you can create. I mean, and there's so many tutorials on YouTube on these things, like so many. So, I mean, if you're not sure how to use this, there's a lot of help out there for using these things. <laughs> They're wonderful. So just pick one, give it some love. You will love it. The other high-end one that I would definitely recommend is, of course, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I see a couple of people saying Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, I just got this, what, a few months ago. I finally broke down and got it, and I was like, you know what? I, I didn't think I needed it because it's just another neutral palette, but it's not. And I've said that a bunch of times. Just some of the shades in here are so, so stinking amazing. Like Creme Brulee is probably one of my favorite eyeshadow shades of all time. It's gold, but it's got pink undertones, and it's so, so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but oh lordy, it's so good, it's so good. You know what I just realized? You guys, we're on my regular webcam. We're not even on the good camera. I forgot to hook up my regular, my good web camera. Oh man. Oh, well, too late now, too late now. Hopefully you guys can see everything. I apologize, we'll be back to better quality next week, but I have my microphone on, so the sound should be awesome. But the camera, sorry about that, you guys. Um, be, with, uh, be Who You Wanna Be says she loves the electric palette. That's one I haven't been able to get into because it's just so crazy, it's so crazy. Um, so uh, Zep Star says she needs a personal makeup shopper. That's what we're doing right now, girlfriend. Collective brain. We're looking you up. Take some little notes and go out. There you go. Have someone go out and buy them for you if you can afford it. <laughs> um, Snape Sonny says, uh, excited for the peanut butter and jelly palette. I think that looks really neat, too, the Too Faced peanut butter and jelly. But anyway, just an amazing palette. If this is calling to you, I definitely recommend getting it. As far as the semi-sweet, I've heard that that one isn't quite as good. Very rarely do I hear someone that likes the semi-sweet better than the original. Um, but it's very good, very good. And the smell is amazing, the smell is amazing. The drugstore palette that I wanna to recommend to you is Comfort Zone by Wet n Wild. Um, this is was one of my first palettes that I got from the drugstore where I was like, wow, this is from the drugstore. What, are you kidding me? Uh, amazing, just really good quality. Um, this shade down here, is one that a lot of people talk about. There's a matte color that's this color. Um, there's a Kat Von D, the shade shifter eyeshadow we talk about in the show today. It is a dupe for this. Well, it's close to a dupe. It's not exactly the same. But how fun is this color? How fun? How fun is that? 
I mean, what? Drugstore. And that's the way it applies on the eyes, too. Like, that's not just a swatch. That's the way it applies on the eye. Um, but, oh, my gosh. Um, Kyla says that the Gwen palette is great. Um, I've heard mixed reviews on the Gwen palette. I've heard that if you're a light skin tone, it can be amazing. If you're not... Mm -hmm. Yes, Max Club, thank you so much. Um, and the shades in here are wonderful. This one up here, this brow bone shade, it says brow bone, but just what? Like, how is this a drugstore palette? How is this, I'm running out of uh, real estate here. Um, how is that a drugstore shade? Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Amazing, amazing. Um, the Beware of the Wet n Wild palettes in the white packaging. That's my biggest advice to you because they can be very hit and miss. The black packaging tends to be pretty good. So there you go. There you go. Um, Steph says, I pretty much need to own the entire Gwen collection. The big thing from the Gwen collection that everybody's freaking out over, at least um, X Sparkage and Jordan Liberty, were the, was the blush palette. It seemed, that seems to be the thing to get. Um, also the lipsticks, if you like reds. All right. So moving on. It's 1042. Oh, I just realized my battery's not plugged in. I don't want you guys, because one time my battery died while I was talking to you, and that was not good. So I'm going to plug this in real quick. Hold on, almost there, almost there, we're there, okay. All right, I'm so mad about the camera now. All right, I have lots of things still left to talk to you about. We only have 20 minutes left, 18 minutes. All right. Um, Beth says she wants that Gwen blush palette. Oh, me too. You and me both, girlfriend. I probably won't get it because I don't need it. And everyone and their grandmother is going to review it. And I just don't like rushing to review something. Like, I'd rather review a bunch of different drugstore products that people may or may not be getting. Um, but, yes. And then Makeup Color says Sleek Palettes. Um, let's see. Uh, um, the Wet n Wild palette, the name is Comfort Zone. You can find it at any drugstore. They sell them everywhere. It's so good. Melody says, I love the Lime Crime Venus Grunge and Melt Cosmetics Four Magnetic Shades. Does anyone know for any more palettes with red and crease shades? I could probably find some, but it would take me a while. So I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. But definitely, if you have some recommendations for reddish crease shades in a palette, definitely type them into the comments below or in the collective brain now. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and move on to, ooh, I want to tell you about my new Holy Grail eyeliner product. I got this, like, last week. <laughs> so I can't 100% say Holy Grail because I have to see how it ages. But, oh, my gosh. The Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal. Oh my goodness. This is an OMG moment. I'm going to do my brows right now with this thing. Let me show you. First, it's so, so thin. All right, let me show you this. You've got to see this. I have to switch over to the, so I can see myself. Watch this. Watch this. Watching. Watch this. Oh man. It's coming. It's coming. I'm looking in this terrible camera. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let me get a better mirror. Where's my good mirror? Oh, it's my good mirror. Oh, there it is. I'll get my mirror instead so that I can see what in the world I'm doing. And that worked pretty well. Okay, other side. It so goes on so easily. I need to get my brows done really bad. That's my goal for tomorrow is to get my brows done. But, bam. And this is like hair that's regrowing in, so it's going to look really bad. But you'll be able to get the point. Just, oh my goodness. Spoolie on the other side. This is just as good as any high-end eyebrow product that I have ever used. It's 10 bucks. Just made it to my drugstore. And I'm in love. I'm so in love with this eyebrow pencil. It's not too creamy. It doesn't get stuck in the eyebrows. Um, it's not too dry where you feel like you have to rub your eye, your eyebrow. Like L'Oreal knocked it out of the park with this product. Out of the park. So excited about this. Just yes. If you're looking for a new brow product, definitely recommend checking that out. All right, let me go back to the collective brain. All right. Yeah, so excited. It's not waxy. It's it's like perfect. Like I don't know how to describe it. It's just perfect. It doesn't make like you know when you put something in your brows and it feels like it's like stick sticky or thick or it makes your eyebrows feel like they're gluing together. It doesn't do that. But then it doesn't it's not so dry that you feel like you have to rub. It's that in between. It just applies flawlessly. It's a flawless flawless application. Let me see. Okay, I got a little bit of room here. 
I don't know if you can see that. But that's just the tiniest, tiniest bit. This is dark brown, by the way. And it just, it's perfect. That's all I have to say about it. It's just perfect. I have to see how it ages, though, before I give a full, full review. Um, Snape's Honey says, Essence Jumbo Eyeliner Pens are awesome. And then um, Pink Rose says, K Pink Rose. Kai Pink Rose says, like ABH Brow Tinted Gel. Oh, okay. I've never tried the tinted one. The regular one is too crunchy for me. Um, I've heard the next one is great too, KJ. I have that one, but it is the, uh, it's the wrong shade for me. So I need to get uh, the right shade. Uh, everybody's saying the NYX is amazing. And then the Too Faced Bulletproof, Nicole says, is her favorite. Um, Gina says the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. Oh, I would say that one, but only if you are an experienced brow product user. I feel like that one's a little difficult to use, but if you can get it and you like Instagrammy brows, yes, definitely. Definitely. All right. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people. I I think it makes a difference uh, that we have a um, able to people can participate on mobile now, which is wonderful. Hi, Helen. And then Brittany says the first brow product I ever bought was the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz, and I've never tried anything else. Almost convinced to get the L'Oreal one now. I would recommend when you run out of your Brow Wiz to try the L'Oreal one. Get it from Walmart or someplace where you know you can return it just in case. But I really think that you're going to love it. I genuinely think you're going to love it, or else I would not say that. All right. Let's move on because we're going to run out of time. You guys know my Holy Grail eyeliner. You already know what it is. It's the Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner. Um, this one, I think, will forever be my Holy Grail. It doesn't seep into fine lines. It lasts all day. It's seven bucks on the Jessie's Girl website. They sell all kinds of colors now. The colors, I feel like, aren't quite as good as the black. Um, I feel like they don't last quite as long as the black, but they're still great. They're still great. But they just don't, like, the, the product, I think, dry, seems to dry up a little bit faster, at least in my experience for the for that. Um, but, yes, we have not done lips yet. We have not done lips. I got I got a stack of lips over here. But, yes, Jessie's Girl, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, for drugstore, if you're in the drugstore, the Maybelline, um, oh, Maybelline went out of my head. <sighs> totally just went out of my head. You ever get that moment where it's like, Crickets in your head, and it's like crickets. Maybelline, boo! I can't even think of it. I can't even think of it. Um, Kanisha says, I love the Jordana liquid liner and the Black Radiance liquid liner. The Jordana one was difficult for me to use, and I didn't feel like it was opaque. It was weird. I don't know. It didn't work very well for me. I don't know what happened because a lot of people really, really love that. Um, Kay says the Steel Stay All Day done. That's a really good one. The um, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper is awesome. Michelle Brandle, the Essence Gel Liner is amazing. It's wonderful. Definitely recommend that one. Totally, totally, totally. Um, the Infallible one, I have not tried that one yet. Um, uh, Stephanie says, I just got the Laura Mercier cake eyeliner. I've never heard anybody talk about cake eyeliners, but I'm loving it for tight lining my eyes without taking up lid space on my small lids. And then Brittany says, Jessie's girl is so great. Got a group on. It was two for 10 and once, and, and then she never went back. So if you can find the Jessie's girl ones, absolutely. All right. I got to keep moving or else we're not going to get through all this stuff. Ah! Okay. So let's go ahead and go on to mascaras. I have a few for you. There's so many good um, liquid eyeliners. The NYC li li liquid eyeliner is Hannah's Holy Grail. I think that was Hannah. It went by really, really fast. Um, uh, uh, Tabitha, Tabitha Wichmann Davis says gel eyeliners are the only liner that doesn't bother her eyes. And then Carrie says infallible is pretty amazing. It lasts all day. And I trust Carrie 100 and a bazillion percent. All right. So some mascaras really quickly. Um, the Essence mascaras overall, I've really been loving. I've heard that these flake on some people. They do not flake on me. Uh, this is the Lash Princess. I think this is the waterproof one, uh, but I really like it. And then the I Heart Extreme one. This one's a little more clumpetier. It's a little more volumizing. This one's a little more lengthening and a little less clumpety. And then this one, the Jordana Best Lash Extreme is another amazing one. Looks very, very ordinary, but it's not. It's amazing. This is the third time I've gotten one. 
So good, so good. Well, the first one Victoria Donnell was sent to me, but then I've gotten two since then. So wonderful, so wonderful. And these are super, super cheap. These are under five dollars each. Uh, for high-end mascaras, uh, we're talking about the Perversion by Urban Decay. This one is another one that I feel like universally people seem to love. And then this one's a new one. This is the Steal a Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. This may be one of the best mascaras I've ever used. And it's weird because Steal it doesn't usually blow me away, like ever. Like, I can't remember the last time St I was like, yeah, Stila, you know? Like, this totally caught me off guard. Totally caught me off guard. Terry Lee says Lash Princesses. She loves it thanks to me recommending it. That's so awesome. Um, Dawn says the Super Sizer. A lot of people are loving the CoverGirl Super Sizer. I completely agree. I have not tried it. And Krista says the same thing, the, the Super Sizer. Absolutely. Um, Stephanie says the Maybelline Lash Sensational Forever and Always. And then I've seen a couple of people say the Better Than Sex Mascara. I found that to be kind of clumpy on me, but it is a nice mascara. It just... I don't know. It's kind of clumpy on me. I don't know why. Um, the roller lash is another one that people talk about a lot. The roller lash feels heavy on my eyelashes for some reason, which I don't really like. The performance is good, but it feels heavy. I don't know. No, I don't know. But these are all really, really, really wonderful mascaras. And honestly, I'm not sure if the price difference is worth it for these high-end mascaras when you can get something that's this good for uh, under five bucks. It's another one of those things you don't have to spend a ridiculous amount of money to get really good products. It's it's you know when you buy a car, you're you 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 get what you pay for. You know you get all the features, you get all the bells and whistles, you get the you know GPS system and the and the brakes and the this and the that and the sunroof and the whatever. But for makeup. I don't think that's necessarily true. I don't necessarily think that the best makeup has to be the most expensive. Definitely not. It's just weeding through all the junk to find the great stuff. And this is some of the great stuff. So I've done, we've all done in the collective brain, the weeding for you. And now you get to know what it all is. So there you go. Um, Melody says the better than sex doesn't stay on her lashes and it crumbles off. Oh, wow. And then Summer says, are there good cruelty-free drugstore mascaras? And honestly, I'm not sure of the different cruelty-free drugstore brands. Um, that I don't know off the top of my head or else I would help. Oh, Dan's here. Hello, hello, hello. One of my favorite people. Um, Helen says eyeshadow is something I get high-end, but mascara is drugstore all the way. And I feel like overall eyeshadow seems to perform better when you buy when you pay more for it overall exception you know the um the wet and wild palettes the this would be an exception to that rule definitely okay let's move on because we're like ah we only have seven minutes left there's so much to tell you so much to tell you okay so let's go into lips because i know a lot of people have been excited about lips I've got a few different products for you. Um, one thing I wanted to show you are the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. Now, these work really well for me, really, really well for me. But for some reason, there's some hate on these, and I don't really understand why. I don't get why some people don't like these. I, I They're perfect for me. Um, one that I've really been loving lately is Grunge. That's the one I'm wearing in the show today, um, and I really love it. I really love it. Crunch. I love it. And then I've Bound and Lumiere. Those are some other ones that I really like. Let me get my wipe and start over here. See if I can get some space for some lip swatches. Okay. So we're going to do Lumiere. This is the Kathleen Lights one, but that has nothing to do with why I love it. I promise. I don't know Kathleen. Kathleen doesn't know me. So there you go. And then this is Bound. Just slightly kind of a brighter pink. And then here's grunge. And these are five bucks each. There's grunge. It's that, that new brownie kind of trend. I really like it a lot. I love it. Okay. Um, Cam says ColourPop Contempo is her favorite. Um, so yes, so yes for those. Uh, something a little more accessible. I really love the Revlon, these thingies, any of these balmy kinds of things. These are the matte balms. This is my favorite formula of them, except for the original formula. I love the shade Adore because I love those pinky nudes. But um, this one is called Elusive. And these are just a really nice formula. Just a very, very nice formula. And then this one is called Sultry. This one is probably my most used one of this formula. 
and they don't feel drying. They feel actually very good on the lips considering they're a matte formula. They feel very, very good. Lasting power is pretty typical. It's not, you know, stellar or anything, but I really enjoy these. If you're looking for something in the drugstore, all of these are wonderful, this formula. Um, and then for higher end, I wanted to show you uh, the Too Faced, Too Faced La Creme formula is my favorite. This one's a new one in Sugar Daddy. Really like this shade a lot. They're just really creamy and smooth. They just feel really good on the lips. Really, really good. I have some higher end lipsticks that I would say are really, really good, but the price point, I don't think, I don't think they're worth the price point unless you just want to feel fancy because you want to be able to say you have a higher end lipstick like I do. <laughs> I just want to, you know, I own a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick because it makes me feel fancy. It's all completely placebo effect. They're, I mean, these are just as good you know, the Too Faced ones, if I try to block out, you know, the fanciness of it. Um, but I really like these. I love these La Cremes. I love these things so much. Um, Pam says the Kat Von D studded lipsticks are a big favorite of hers. And Savvy says the same thing. Uh, Nikki says Bite Beauty has an amazing, amazing lipstick formula. That's very, very true. And Cheryl says the Buxom lipsticks are nice too. Savvy says the La Creme lipsticks keep melting. Oh, no. And Gina says the Clinique Pop lipsticks she really likes. And then Ella B says, yes, the e.l.f. mattes I love. Um, it's going very fast. Lisa says I have four Urban Decay lipsticks and never reach for them. I have a bunch of Urban Decay lipsticks, too, and I don't reach for them either. I don't know why. I don't know why I don't. Just they don't they don't call to me. I don't know why. And then KJ says, I want unicorn tears now that I showed it. Unicorn tears is a really fun shade. Look it up if you're curious. It's very interesting. It's like a topper. They don't advertise it as a topper, but it's a topper. And then Summer says the Too Faced Melted Fig and Rainbow are her favorite. Steph says they're stupid expensive, but Marc Jacobs lipsticks. They're never sticky and last forever. Agreed. Absolutely agreed. Um, Nikki says the Clinique Pops are really good. And Kay says we need a luxury feel and fancy chat. I don't have enough fancy stuff I don't think I don't think I have enough really fancy stuff to do a fancy chat um, Blinky's blurb says the julep it's whip lipstick and then uh, Tabitha uh, which mom Davis says Milani matte lipsticks are great uh, Let's see um, Andrea says the urban decay formula is um, is amazing I do really like it. I don't know why I don't grab for them and Kaylee says I need that Maybelline touch of spice you speak of oh it's a good one it's a good one as far as glosses, my favorite gloss formula is the NYX Butter Glosses. I love these things. I love them. They have just the tad bit of pigmentation. So it's nice for, um, you know, those people that don't like that heavy lip color. Um, and, and they smell good. They feel good. They last a typical amount of time. They're not amazing as far as lasting power. But they're very nice. They're nice little glosses. And I really like them a lot. I love them a lot. Oh, my goodness. Are we all seriously almost out of time? Are you kidding me? All right. I got to hurry up. Okay. I don't want to, like, not tell you things. So I might stay on a couple extra minutes. All right. This is a new purchase for me. This is really, really fun. And where did I show this? Did I show this? Oh, I showed this on. Where did I put this? Oh, on the What's On My Face video, if you go to whatsupandmakeup.com, you can see this in action. It's called the What's On My Face video. It's um, exclusive content only on whatsupandmakeup.com. Um, and I show you how this works. This is the Smashbox Instamat. And actually, I can put that over some of these, like these two glossy ones, like this glossy one, show you how it works. It is so neat. It comes out, this is a brand new product. Um, it comes out like a... Um, like a, like a silicone-based primer. I don't know if you can see that, but it comes out like a silicone-based primer. And then when you put it on top, like can you see the gloss on there? Hopefully you can see the gloss. And then when I put that over top, hopefully you can see it turns it matte. It's such a neat, neat product, really neat. And it doesn't feel matte. It, you still have that mushy, like, uh, you know, moisturized feeling. Really, really fun. Very fun. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to play with this some more. Um, I just, I'm so blown away by this. So blown away by this product. Okay. I did want to talk about some nail polishes very quickly because I know some people love nail polishes. My favorite nail polish formula, to be honest with you, is Julep. I love Julep nail polishes. I would never pay $14 for one, though. So, I mean, I, I own so many because I have a Julep subscription. Shake them up a little bit. I have a Julep subscription. That's why I have so many, but they are seriously my favorite formula. And the reason why they're my favorite formula is they last on the nails for a really, really long time. And my nail, nail polish chips really, really fast on me. But Julep nail polishes, most of them take a really long time to chip on me. This has been on my nails since Thursday. 
and there's there's a couple little chips in the tips but it's not enough to have to take it off and it's Sunday and it looks amazing like what what and they consistently do that they're also one to two coat polishes they dry relatively quickly I mean it's just a, and, and the, the the more they're around I feel like they keep improving the formula like I feel like my newest julep nail polishes are a better formula than my older julep polishes um, Terry Lee says that julep brushes are excellent they are they are very very nice um, if you don't have a julep subscription I definitely would recommend checking into it because the great thing about a julep subscription is that if you're really good at keeping track of things or you have an alarm I'll go like a, like a Thing on your phone where it can run like a reminder uh, you can skip your bag so if you don't want to get your box or bag whatever you want to call it in a month you can just skip it and it works really really well to do that because then you just get it whenever it calls to you and then you don't get it when it doesn't call to you um, what I'm wearing on my lip my, my lips my nails today is called Tali and it's one of their liquid holographics and I really love this it's just so gorgeous in the sunlight it just glows it's so 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 pretty um, another stand, a couple other standout shades that I, I kind of picked them out because of the Pantone color of the year um, this is Paulette and it is so beautiful I have it here on a nail swatch it's right here it's so beautiful so beautiful oh my gosh and then this one is called Jean this one's so pretty and these have no top coats nothing Oh my goodness, Julep's subscription is $20 a month, I think, and you get two to three nail polishes. If you get two nail polishes, then you get a, um, a skincare or a makeup item along with it. Um, yes, or if you wanna try Julep nail polishes, once a month they have a mystery box that's $25. They send you a bunch of mystery things, which I think is totally worth it. The, the, the value that you get in those things are like over $100 and they cost $25. So if you want to try Julep, I'd recommend getting one of those mystery boxes first and see if you like it and then subscribe to the subscription if you want to. I do have an, uh, like a code. You know how you get those codes You know when you subscribe to something that you get referral, whatever, referral credits. The referral credit system now is total junk. Like you get $15, but you can only use the $15 like one time. Like you can't add them up. So it's like really annoying. So I don't really like the, the points, like if you want to click below, that's fine. If not, don't worry about it. Like just go to Julep and sign up. Um, so anyway, the soft focus finish is another um, one that I really like as far as formula from these. And I have the swatch wheel out. Where did the swatch wheel go? I had it out. Hold on. I have it. I want to show it to you. What happened to my swatch wheel? I'll find it as soon as chat's over. I'll find it. This is not it. This is not it. This is not it. This is not it. I got out all my swatch wheels. Is this it stuck? Yes. No. Mm. But it's like a satiny kind of finish instead of a um, like a glossy finish. It's like satin. Um, it looks very flat and like um, creamy on the nails. So it's very, very nice. And this one again is called Janet. And I really like that a lot. So Julep Nail Polishes. Yes. Um, if I had to pick one from the drugstore that I really like, I really like, where are they? Oh, I'm trying to find one. My eyes are not falling on one. Essie is not a huge win for me, just so you know. Essie is not a huge win. I have a blue. Sally Hansen Insta Dry. Okay, I was trying to find one, but for some reason I can't. My eyeballs are not falling on one. Sally Hansen Insta Dry, I really like. The only thing is, Sally Hansen Insta Dry will crack, will like crackle after a few days. So just be aware of that. Um, <laughs> KJ says every blue nail polish on the planet is an addiction. Um, yes. So hold on a minute. What happened? Oh, hold on a minute. Um, Zoya is a great formula, Nikki. I do like Zoya, but Zoya has been hit and miss for me. I feel like Julep is more consistent, at least for me personally. Um, Krista says, not a fan of the Pantone colors. Was hoping for another Jewel tone. Really like the Marsala. The Marsala made me happy. Um, the Gold Digger says, loving Zoya and Julep. And then Shannon says, Essie is very hit or miss for me. Some are awesome and some are horrible. Agreed. Agreed. And Stephanie says, Sally Hansen, complete salon manicure. Agreed. Another great formula. Every once in a while, that one disappoints me too. But every once in a while, Julep comes out with one where I'm kind of like, mm. but it's very rare that there's a Julep one that I don't like. 
All right, I gotta get going. It's 11.05. I gotta get going with my day, but I appreciate you being here so much. I hope you enjoyed that chat. I hope you learned a lot. Again, if you if I you said something in the collective brain, if you were in chat today, definitely make sure you type into the comments below. If you were not in chat today, just know that as we're in chat, there's a lot of things that are happening. There's a lot of recommendations that are happening that you cannot see beyond the live broadcast. So you can learn a lot more by being here for the live broadcast and reading the collective brain um the the chat window there's a lot more information happening there so if you can tune in live you definitely get a lot more out of it i think um we are archiving the chats thanks to kj um who's here right now we're archiving the chats so you can go to whatsappandmakeup.com and i believe they can be found there um tabitha will have to make sure that that's there for people i, I haven't been over there to look to make sure tab put it up there but we've talked about that with kj to get those up there um but if not, if there, if you're, if you haven't been here, definitely look down in the comments, type down in the comments some of your Holy Grail products so we can all learn from each other and really be that awesome community that really helps each other and, you know, finds the best products for everybody because we want to learn from each other's experiences so we don't waste our time, we don't waste our money and really can weave through all of the junk and find the great products. So again, I thank you so much for joining me. Stay warm if you're in a cold climate. Um, drive safely if there's snow around you. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much. This week coming up, we have the uh, Ofra brand review coming up and I'm not sure what else is coming up. Probably my lucky bag is supposed to be delivered on Tuesday. It was delivered, my uh, beautiful English lucky bag was supposed was delivered yesterday and I wasn't here to get it and I had to sign for it so it'll be delivered on Tuesday so hopefully that'll be the second video this week so O for brand review Beautylish lucky bag and then next week is subscription box week so lots of good subscription box uh, reviews and openings and things like that next week so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that if you're not already subscribed and mad love and I will see you very very soon bye